Hey guys, Nick here, and we are going to talk about tuning your wings to make them as quiet as possible in the water. As you know, your wings are a full carbon fiber prepreg with foam core, which makes them awesome because they are extremely light and rigid and strong. Um, however, being light and rigid like that with foam core, sometimes you can get uh, like a resonance inside and you can get that sound, uh, kind of that where it's humming through the water. Um, but there's a couple easy tuning tips here to hone it in and get rid of that. So it's super smooth through the water, really quiet. What I've got right here is I have a sanding block. I like to use uh, just a piece of styrofoam EPS because it's, it's hard, but it also kind of conforms uh, to a curve. And I've got a couple of different pieces of sandpaper. I got something that's like a 220. It's a little bit grittier. It's gonna eat some material. And then I'm gonna smooth it up. I, I've got like a 600 and an 800 here. You can use something similar as well, but it's nice to start a little bit rougher, probably nothing less than a 220, and then move your way up to just kind of smooth it out and finish it off. Uh, so what we're gonna do really is we've got our trailing edges and our wingtips. And then, you know, the sharper this gets, the smoother it gets through the water, but also the sharper that it gets, the more dangerous it is for foiling. So, you know, us from the factory, we have to leave a certain amount of edge um, out of respect for our customers and our riders to be safe. But that doesn't mean that you can't tune your own wing the way that you like it. Uh, my wings, I, I sharpen them up just a little bit. Um, and don't, don't go too far because it's really not necessary and it can just be dangerous. You know, you don't want to hurt yourself outside in the water. Uh, but really what you want to do is we're going to focus on the trailing edges and the wing tips here to kind of sharpen them up a little bit like if you were sharpening a knife. And I'll just take this block and really I'll focus mostly out here first uh, and I'll test it and then I'll come back and I'll try it again. But I'm going to sand it kind of here and here. And I'm not going to work my way into this wing at all. I'm really just focusing on the edges kind of around the front and around the back. And don't be afraid of like taking up too much material. Uh, these things are really solid around the edges and you're not going to do it any harm. Uh, we, we purposely built it that way too, that if you chip up your edges or, or damage them, you can always come back and sand them smooth. Uh, so just that, you'll notice that I'm kind of taking off a little bit of meat on the top edge here. And I'm kind of working around the edge of the front. Really kind of simple, just kind of follow the contour of the wing. I don't really sand it flat like that because that kind of makes it more dull and that's kind of going against the, the purpose. And if I want, I can also hit the back edge just a little bit in two angles, the front side like this and the back side like this, again, to make kind of those edges come together. That's where the water comes back together nice and smooth. And that's what makes it quick through the water and nice and quiet. And we're just gonna focus on this side for right now, just for the purpose of demonstration, but obviously I would do both sides of it. So now that I've got the 220 out and you might wanna work it a little bit more than that, you know, you can just kinda of see it. Then I'm gonna start going to the smoother sandpaper and I'm gonna go over those areas. Again, I don't need to go into the wing. I'm just focusing on the edges and I'm gonna get rid of those rough marks and I'm gonna also work on kind of rounding over the front part here and I'm just smoothing it up I already did the work with the with the heavier grit and then I'll just move up to my 800 here and make it nice and really smooth all the points that we touched and then I'll take off this carbon you don't even notice that it's been it's been worked on uh, but I definitely see more of a definition in the edges and the trailing here. And I would start with that. So definitely this area right here of the wingtip. And then if you want back into here, and what you can do is you can do it in increments. So you'll tune your wing, you'll go out, you ride it. Uh, if, it's, if it's stopped, if it went away, perfect, stop right there. If you feel like it needs a little bit more, then just come back in and hit another pass at it. And you can do a couple of increments until it's riding exactly how you want it to be. 
Remember also too that you have multiple trailing edges, including your strut. So sometimes maybe it's not the wing and maybe it's a strut and you wanna work on those as well. Um, but I would do one change at a time, go out and test it, come back and modify if you need to modify to get it as smooth and slick through the water as possible.